Hai mambo vipi anita Santuri hapa karibu tena it's a beautiful monday yani hapa kila kitu fresh barida kila kitu kiko vizuri kama umeshiba umeshiba kama una njaa pole kama uliofunga yenye eh, tuombieni tuombeni na sisi ila kwa sasa tuko katika self space yetu our main reason why we do this on a daily or maybe weekly ni kwa sababu tunajuzana na kuelimishana mambo mengi kila siku wanaleta watu tofauti tofauti kuna watu ambao wao wanakuja hapa kila wakati mpaka hii set imewazoea lakini have my own reasons why i do that and if you feel like you want to join the conversation you want to be on this set please usiogope just go to my inbox ya yeah, uh, instagram anita santuri niambie tu i would want you to host me on that show uh, on that safe space i wouldn't mind doing that with you but today niko na mtu lakini kama wewe ni mgeni please subscribe kama wewe si mgeni unaweza ukashare uka like uka comment he ni hapa ni nyumbani na tunajiita tuna, tuna Santu <laughs> anyway karibu asante mambo kwa sana mambo uko wazi uko fit since last time ulikuwa hapa kidogo you broke down how are you huh? <laughs> i am amazing eh. i am uh, beautifully and wonderfully made feeling fantastic uh, why are you moving with that seat ah si kufurahi tu ah okay I'm, i'm a jovial person ah yes okay now kitu ambacho nataka kukizungumzia leo ni sexual harassment either kwa marafiki kwa jamii am familia na pia kazini mm. you know um, it's not okay to tell mwanamume eh Hey, maze, yuko na, yuko tina kapoa, ama yuko tina ka vizuri. Uh, it's not okay. It's not. It's either unamkatia <laughs> ama una, it's it's just not fine. No. So tuko tunazungumza different types of sexual harassment. It doesn't you don't need to go to a place where ndo kafanye nini na mtu. It's just the thought, the way unaniangalia, I can know unani harass, you know. Have you ever been sexually harassed? Of course. Where? Look in the way I look. Nikosa kuharasiwa. <laughs> Where um it started mimi nimeharasiwa mara nyingi sana. I don't know if I invite it. Um What do you mean you invite it? How can someone invite sexual harassment? Um, I I think I, I naturally look like a flat. Ah, okay. That has to be one <laughs> one of the but apart from that kwa sababu pia I also don't want to get into that. There's also the fact that there are a lot there are a lot of very dark people. Very dark, dark people. people. Dark color or inside? Ndani. Oh, ndani. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mind them dark. Anyway, uh I have starting with my primary school teacher. Primary school teacher. And yes. that reminds me, a lot of people have been complaining like the past few weeks how mm. teachers have been like sexually harassing yes. and molesting students mm-hmm. and people are not coming out to talk about them yes. in school. Yes. Wow. And unfortunately, um it also happens in the family na watu wananyamazia wanaficha. But anyway, uh, primary school Uh, there's a teacher that told me oh and umeanza kupata nyonyo umeanza kupata nyonyo <laughs> yes and you know i was very innocent i was very very innocent i didn't know what was going on but i felt that it was wrong because yeah. fortunately for me uh, um my dad used to talk to us a lot about uh kwanza unajua mama venye anasema all men are snakes mm. don't trust anyone mtu akianza ku- yes and you have naye dad anasema mtu akiku- mtu no one should be talking to you too much you know if you feel uncomfortable mm. if they touch you my dad had that talk with me na mama anasema wanaume ni snakes eh, uh, na kuna snake pale kwa nyumba hata <laughs> hata sasa hivi hata sasa hivi bado wanaume wana snakes <laughs> so oh, I, i felt it was so off then. i felt it was off when he told me yeah. ah, ume This was in class 6. Eh? It was not right. Mm. And and I I wondered 
why would an adult tell me that? Mm. And why would a man tell me that? What were his intentions? So this is a talk that we need to talk with our kids to ambie. Mtu asikuguze hapa. Mtu asikuambie hivi. If you feel uncomfortable, talk report about. to someone. Yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah, so that's the, I think that was my first experience with sexual harassment. What? I think I experienced sexual harassment in high school. Mm. In high school. Mwalimu would, pia. Yes, mwalimu. Mm. And this teacher, it, there was a teacher and then there was another person who was working in the school, at the school. Mm. But hakuwa mwalimu. Mm. And I, I used to, alikuwa na niita kwa ofisi. Mm-hmm. And then patia mayai boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. Ask me why I don't like boiled eggs. Uh. I'm too dead. Uh. Because of that. You associate them with the Yeah, harassment. you know, mm. I... I and ani patia boil you know when you're in high school you talk about my eye you were tired of eating the dairy and all mm. that so for me i thought it was ah it's a normal thing it's okay ni alikuwa na kuhonga mayai yes you know mm-hmm. but he didn't know that i i, I okay kwetu hakuwa tu kwa matajiri lakini kwetu we had all those but mayai alikuwa kwa 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 nini we had everything that we needed sometimes mm. not all the time but sometimes mm. my, our parents tried mm. now nikaje nikamuuliza but mbona unanipatia hizi vitu na umpati wale wengine oh, oh, oh. so no anita uh, your time now i want an my government name mm. you know angelin mm. you know you are very pretty come mm. out thank you you know coming from a teacher I'm like ah sante and una ile siku kifunga shule you know we can we, you can pass by somewhere i buy you something nice mm. nini <laughs> Nikambe, ah eh uh, time nilikuwa nikitoka shule wakati tunafunga shule mm. i used to go to um uh, Congo air i buy clothes mm. so i used to sell yeah. so i didn't have any issues with money anuleza <laughs> biashara kitambo eh so i didn't have issues with money mm. and nikambe i'll buy you something nice ni nini so nika, one day nikaje nikambe eh hey, by the way I don't like the way you talk to me mm. i'm not comfortable i'm not comfortable mm. i'm not comfortable kabisa yeah you know and that really got me into serious trouble mm. the school that i was in mm-hmm. wakani set up na storya bank mm-hmm. you know uka, uka expelliwa yes i was expelled but yeah. now i told them you know my dad was a cop then mm. i told them mm. i told my dad sikuna vipimo za mtu kama anavuta bangi ujulikani mm. i want them to go to do the test mm. no my dad had to go and do the test on his own just uh-huh. to affirm because I, i i wanted i my dad trust me uh, i didn't want him to have ear dent ya kwamba mtongo wa corrupt my dear yes anavuta bangi mm-hmm. so my dad did the test on his own and mm. it came out negative yeah so now there was a way of clearing my name mm. but i wish i had the courage then to say i was expelled because this ili yes. kunachangia mm. no. and kwa sababu nilimkatalia mtu fulani yes nilimkatalia mtu fulani mm-hmm. na akafanya kahuti na watu wengine so that nikakuwa nikashiku but you see with oh. a teacher like that you high school teacher he was simply grooming you and we have seen them go on and actually marry some of these girls marry i know a teacher in uh, northeastern you mm. know i've been working in yeah. uh, some places in northeastern mm. so uh i know a teacher that has been grooming these kids and now i'm be mje mnifulie nguo over the weekend siji mnipikie ni nini he actually goes ahead to have sex with them and and he wanted to marry uh, one of them mwenye maliza pompo as his other wife siju ni wife namba ngapi so this is and the teachers know these things yes grooming starts at apo sasa high school anakuambia mimi hata venye sitaki uwe girlfriend nataka ni kuoe kabisa and you know when your uh, to be very honest the way akili yako ilikuwa maybe when you were in high school yeah. 50 years ago mm. <laughs> na saa hizi ni two completely different, different mindsets yes. so they start grooming you because you don't know any better yeah so um it's it's very unfortunate that this does not stop at high school because now when you go to campus and the same thing happens same thing happens unapata lecture eh? yes i had a lecture a lecturer in my campus who told me ah oh, i need to take you out somewhere nini nini si unajua venye kampo wa mtu anasota mtu anakupatia tu pesa tu 
Eh, without eh, even stuttering eh? anapata ana, unapata unapata mtu anakupatia 5k just like that hey, in college wewe na umezoea kula sosi soya na indomie eh hiyo siku unarusha basi akakuta kanyama you know <laughs> you know it's sad but at the same time uh, you can't just help help it but laugh about it yes because i i, I think about it now and this man was one married two um he wasn't only grooming me kulikuwa kuna watu wengine yani tulikuwa you know lining eh list wewe uko namba uko 35b be, roman 3 you, you know even able to say you want to use protection during that time but that's the thing when i did not uh, give in to actually mimi nilipokea pesa pesa zikatali lakini sasa <laughs> i did not give it to him and uh, his sexual advances okay he now got violent okay to an extent he was like grabbing my hand i actually felt so unsafe i thought he would rape me ndio tumetoka lecture hall he's like grabbing my hand is like ati kwani unafikia nitakubembeleza hadi siku gani nitakubembeleza hadi siku gani ha What is happening? Rekesha <laughs> do you know? Sasa eh, to our college girls please these things are going to happen. How you are going to take them is completely up to you. Fast money, slow painful consequences. So mtu ajichunge. And I think when I when I was done with high school. Mm. Now those are two men, a teacher and a worker at the school. Uh-huh. And I know people who were in the same school who gave into those stupid advances. Eh, waka ni kuu kama eh alikuwa kwa administration. Wapishi walikuwa pia na two connections. No sasa uzuri, uzuri, you know when when you when you when you're a business person. Mm. Ukitoka shu, ukitoka nyumbani, mm. I used to carry some gifts for the cooks. Uh-huh. So I was in a good relationship yes. with them. So I used to eat very well. Mm-hmm. But now Umeanza at... kuhongana kitambo eh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You look at now how life is right now. Yes. I sit down and I look at my sisters. Mm. I sit down with them like every single time mm. now be if someone at all even if he's my boyfriend. Now some people wamekuwa kinuliza why don't you why don't you want to settle down now? Why don't you do this? Why? I'm, I'm like one woman do how? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I was like mm-hmm. the the people I, I I see or I meet yes when we are walking on the road and they see mm-hmm. a young girl mm-hmm. who is the same age as my sister mm-hmm. they start oh, oh my god mrembo sio ni nini how do I trust I don't even bring my own friends home because I don't trust some of these friends cuz no utaleta mtu kwa nyumba kumbe anakuja kunyemelea sister yako whose fault is that nani amemweka kwa hiyo vulnerable state na uliona signs na uliona and you signs. ignore them and yeah. you see uh, uh, for sexual harassment what people don't understand is that it doesn't have to be full on mm. it doesn't have to be i mean your space i mean your face of yeah, course kuna wale wajinga wana wanakuja hadi you know being in your space telling you st- weird crude Thing, stuff yeah. it doesn't have to be that way someone who is very manipulative atanza na a small thing mm. like accidentally uh, you hear accidentally uh, touching your bum <laughs> akipita you know akipita eh yeah, anapita tu mm. alafu accidentally ana ana ana, ana compliment uh, in such a eh unaka vizuri unaka vizuri alafu unaona macho you know he, it doesn't have to be full on and this is if you feel there is something wrong work with your sixth sense if you feel there is something off about how a man or a woman is touching you is talking to you is getting too familiar don't ignore that sixth sense because yeah. if someone is sexually harassing you it could actually lead to rape yeah you know sometimes i when i was working okay when i started working in Nairobi mm. there's a guy um here in Nairobi mm-hmm watu walikuwa ah mtu ni mpole nini 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 so i started getting close mm. you know like we are friends we yeah. talk ni nini mm. and these guys started telling me how madem amekuwa kimharas mhm and i told him you know what? don't entertain this nonsense yeah who told you women can't sexual harass you mwanzo women are the biggest sexual harass or harassers harassers 
<laughs> eh? Because they, they know you can't prove some of these things. Alafu sasa wanaume wanajua pia wanaume wazi enda kushtaki. Kushtaki because wanaona. Ati 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 huyo msichana ati ali, alipita <laughs> alipita kanishika nini kifua seductively. Una kwanza unaenda ku report kwa nani? Uh, Who are you going to report to? Lakini hapo kwa ku report kuna kwa mtiani kidogo. No, but you see uh, for me I'm I'm for them if you feel like you're being harassed talk about it. You know, just speak up. Because you never know how this how, where where this thing is going to end. Now let's say that that person invites you to her house. Mm. Akweke dawa hapo alafu uenda hapo umelala na yeye bila wewe mwenyewe kujua. Ah but mbona mimi naweza lala bila kujua? Ama akuitie mwanaume mwenzako. Eh hey, lakini sasa hapo. You know that has happened uh, before in this country. You yeah. know that, right? Yeah. So, they lure you with women and then unaenda kule unakazwa. Ah atumia neno zuri. <laughs> so uh, people are being sodomized. We saw the oh, yeah, case yeah. of the teacher who sodomized his yes, student, yeah, yeah, right? Student, yes. It happens every day. It doesn't have to be at a man and a woman. It can be your fellow woman if you are a woman. It can be a fellow man. Yeah. And you know, I think akuna kitu inaweza ikaumiza mwanamume kama you have, you have never even thought about it like that. Even ata ata una we umezoea tu kufist bump watu mm. ndio you don't have that space and then something like that happens to you so we should not only talk about sexual harassment when it comes to girls mm. we also should talk to our boys to mambe if someone touches you in a way that you feel uncomfortable with report Speak it mm. usinyamaze kwa sababu this person alafu watu people are very perverted out here Now at when you anakanga you know it's not it's not the naughty looking ones mm. it's those quiet ones wanaka tu akikuplotia you feel uncomfortable about something just report it yeah. yes if you your stage yeah someone is getting raped or someone is getting sodomized if what wengine like even uh, girls are being sexually harassed by their relatives I was telling you about this yeah. uh, your uncles your cousins you know and then before you know it watu wana mimba alafu mtoto 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 anatoka anakaa ngo flani you know it happens eh yeah? <laughs> you know sometimes i feel you know i have a young girl and yeah. i'm like how is my daughter safe Yes. How am I going to make sure that she's safe in these hands of people? Because even yes. relatives can screw mm. you up. They are the biggest, most, most especially for some, for for these young kids, because they trust their relatives. Son. I mean, you should trust. You should be able to trust your relatives. Yeah. So the fact that you trust them, I want to exploit your trust, yake. And let me tell you something. In our home. Baba yangu hajawahi kubali hata saa hizi hajawahi kubali tuna tuka visit relatives tulale huko peke yetu peke yetu he has never ati venye huo unatuma mtoto wako aende akakae kwa aunti yake mm. as long as kuna mbaba kwa hiyo nyumba he will not allow it Uwe. even ndio for the entire time we were in his house sisi labda sisi tujifunze tabia zingine but that is mm. how he raised us So hizi tabe umetu tumejifunza wenyewe <laughs> Tumejifunza wenyewe I, I think we we need to have these conversations with our kids because mm. watoto huko nje wanakuwa exploit Now me I've never had this conversation with my parents it's like I was sexually harassed in school mm. How do you even start you know Na huyu I remember the, this teacher who tried to do something nasty with me Yeah was trusted in that school by parents. Mm-hmm. Now I'm here imagining how many girls he did that thing to. And this worker, uh-huh. the other person. Uh-huh. There's a day I saw him uko nikaenda uko kilifi. Mm. Like, I Anita, I see you nowadays you're doing really well. Come here. Yes, that's because I didn't agree to your stupid advances. Uh, If I, I be had here with you. I could be here with you. Yeah. Because now your time unaenda kutu unaenda kumwambia unanua kondom wapi you know? Kwanza hao atakaye kutumia kondom tuanzie hapo Huyo mtu atalibe amepewa ugonjwa na huko akuje kukupatia eh, ugonjwa And he would also some of them would actually want to make you pregnant so that you're stuck Okay 
And he was, no, don't say like, oh, but by the way, you're very lucky I didn't tell my parents about it. Yeah. But the moment I hear that you did something to another girl. And and unfortunately, um, for someone like that, it won't stop with you. Definitely. So if you don't report it, someone else will suffer uh, will suffer their wrath. Now, um, I I had an experience uh in Maliza um college. Mm. So I was uh, I was teaching in a high school somewhere, but they were paying me so poorly mm. both there. So I went to another school na um, through connections the yeah. the principal was mm-hmm. my my friend's dad. Alafu uh, coincidentally tulikuwa tunaona naonana since form 1 kwa sababu mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunaenda nini high school moja na my friend. Now this guy is a principal now. Mhm. Aliniambia to straight uh, this job you should have it uh, we are we actually looking for a teacher wa english na literature yeah. we should have this job na sasa ni vizuri tujuane zaidi uh, um, what do you mean to juane zaidi i am i am i am staying at a hotel flani kule na nyuki i'm staying at hotel flani you know i went home uh, now and this is your 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 dad's friend my friend's dad na ameniona tangia form 1 na until from four tunaishi sisi ni majirani he knows my parents ni he's older than my dad eh? kwa sababu his daughter alikuwa last born namba tuonane ndio tujuane zaidi ama at hotel flani flani you know i was so heartbroken but that's i was heartbroken you know manje alikuwa anafikiria hiyo tokea bado uko mdogo so i went i went home and asked my mom could i have You know this is and this is what rape victims always ask mm. themselves Was did i do fault? anything did i do anything to lead him on but i'm thinking i'm dressed very decently you know it has nothing I, to do with how no, you dress no and no in a in a rape victims or a sexual yeah. uh, sexual harassment victim the first thing that comes to their mind is was it, was it me was it me did i lead them on did i flat accidentally unajua but um my mom told me you know what you cannot change the world and mm. you cannot change people mwenye akona ni mbaya hata ufanye nini hata uvae aje people still rape one year olds it is not their fault so it has nothing to do with you but the other person's mind what but it was heartbreaking it was very heartbreaking it's also happened with my dad's friend eh? <laughs> to me uh, home uh, for christmas uh, holiday and then akanisalimia and then he did you know what men used to do ile ya kukuna mkono nikamwambia wewe mboro ni kuna mkono by the because of why no and then my dad get out of my house what are you doing alimwambia hivyo yes that's nice eh get out of my house what na by the way amekuja na mke wake na watoto But he has time to scratch my hand. I don't know what he was getting from my hand. He was kicked out. Anyway, wakakulia Christmas huko akigombana. I'm so glad. <laughs> Your dad is my OG. Yes, my hero. Ah. Yeah. You know, I saw something on Gange, but kitu hapo na kakuhara during the whole hey. Christmas period. I love sasa usisahau ni na my small sister. Na kama hivyo ndio anafanya pia. Kai. Eh? You know hey. some some people are just perverted. Yeah. Mm. Eh hey, and please fellow parents let's have conversation with our daughters and even our sons because yes. now in school what wana kwa sodomize mm. if you feel like your 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 child ameanza ku drift kidogo when it comes to communication please listen to that child because you do not know what happens in school and even outside school Yes. So be very careful mtoto akija kukwambia create an environment where your kids can have a conversation with you because uh, utasikia mtoto wa miaka 6 ame commit suicide ask yourself mbona mtoto wa miaka 6 ame commit suicide mm. you know maybe he was sodomized or she was sodomized na hakuweza ajui ataongea namna gani and don't trust anyone yeah. anyone with your, kids. with your kids it does not matter whether it's their father their stepfather the moment you start feeling that something is off investigate it and make sure mtoto akona akona so comfortable with you 
again back to how we are parenting yeah, make sure be right. better be better parents than your parents were make sure that there is an open channel um mtoto akifeel uncomfortable in any situation anaweza akaambia mama yake ama baba yake a a this is all sijapenda venye huyu amenifanyia sijapenda venye huyu amenigusa you know open that open that forum mm. Mm. thank you so much for coming today <laughs> Yeah, you uko social, uko social media. Ah, sana sana tena sana. Gina. Tess Humphrey on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram and Unreal Tess on TikTok. Uh, and by the way, my friend is a caregiver mm. and a teacher by profession. <laughs> so please if you have mtu ambaye labda amepata stroke, mtu ambaye ako na ule mavu mtu mzima ambaye anahitaji mtu wa kumsaidia please my friend will always sort you out and just follow her and let's have this conversation going thank you so much to kutane thursday <laughs>